four major things you should never do before you sleep if you expect favor in your life. If you expect good things to come to you. If you want to access unlimited blessing. Because all of these things chases money away. Many a times you are looking for money. You are always broke, but you are the one driving away money from yourself. Many of you, your habits, your attitude, especially before you sleep, is capable of keeping you poor. Remember, sleeping is a different ball game. That is when the agents of darkness, they are in charge. And they pick every little thing to torment you, to stop you, to attack you, and to destroy your blessing, to block your miracle. So before you sleep, stop all of these things and see how your life will change. God bless you for watching. You are most welcome. Thank you so much. My name is Henrietta. And in here, I share with you powerful prayer tips that would help you greatly and draw you closer to God. So all you actually need is to subscribe and make sure the bell notification is turned on. Do well and give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. Please always join in our live stream, 12 a.m. Nigeria time. At times, I also go on live the second time, 9 a.m. I pray with you. I share with you prayer tips, health tips, and many testimonies are coming. Your case will not be different. All you need is to believe and have faith. So now back to today's topic. Four major things you should stop doing before you sleep if you want Money to start coming to you. Number one, stop telling yourself you are poor. Stop speaking badly to yourself. See, let me tell you, even if you do this daytime, it is bad. But at night, it is worst. Hey, I am poor. I can never get money no matter what I do. I can never be accepted no matter what I do. Why is it that things never work for me? As you are speaking this, the agents of darkness, they are picking it, they stamp it. Why am I always poor? I'm always poor. Even if I try this, I'm always poor. The agents of darkness, they are stamping it, and that is it. You always be in poverty. I'm always rejected. As you are saying it, they are stamping it. Please, even if you are watching a prayer video like this, and you want help, from the woman of God or man of God. You don't need to tell that person, I'm always rejected. You are cursing yourself, especially at night before you sleep. If you are watching this video at night, whether you test it or you say it, it is wrong. The evil ones will use it against you. The spiritual power is more active in the evening. So when you go to sleep, what do you think happens? There are people, they sleep, they are heady, they don't wake up. There are people they were fine financially. When they wake up, their things die. There are people they would have assessed their miracle long time ago. They would have gotten their breakthrough. But because of what they constantly say, they constantly deprive themselves of blessing with their mouth unknowingly. And the devil stamps it. This is why they are still poor. So stop speaking negatively. I'm sick. Please pray for me. You can't be sick. Hey, I'm dying. No, hey, no. This can destroy your life. And even worse at night. Number two, please, if you are the type you always cheat and steal. I'm not saying it is good to do this daytime. At night is the worst. Do not take what does not belong to you at night. Because the moment you do that, you know normally when you are a thief, when you cheat, there is a cause attached to that. But when you do this before you sleep, you will see torment. You will see torment. But when you do this before you sleep, even if you pray, you are closer to your sleep. You are closer to half death. You are closer to temporary death. Sleeping is temporary death. So after taking what does not belong to you, you go to bed and sleep. With that thing you have done, you have taken your words. You have taken your abundance. You have taken your money. You have cheated yourself. Normally, when you steal and cheat people, you rob yourself because a thief never progresses. A cheat never makes money. When you do this at night, the agents of darkness, evil spirits, they will pitch on this your mistake. And while you are asleep, 
It will come and infest evil in your life. Remember evil in the Bible. When men are asleep, that is when the devil comes. That does not mean that you cannot be attacked daytime. Most of the attack daytime, they have been programmed at night. So be careful of what you do at night. Stealing or cheating is wrong, but at night is worst. Never, never do this. Number three, do not curse anyone. Number three, do not curse anyone or say things evil against people when you are about to sleep. Normally, when you are cursing people, you are cursing yourself. It is wrong that you curse people. You will never make it. As you are saying this, especially before you sleep, it is bouncing back to you. You will never make money. As you are saying this, it is bouncing back to you. You will always be poor. You will always, oh, you are stupid, you are this. Do not lay a curse. Because the devil, the agents of darkness, they are looking for every little mistake you will make that will make God to get angry with you. So that they will have the time and opportunity to dine on you, to feast on you. Because the moment you commit the sin, God leaves you. And you are open to attack. It is very risky. Any other time you commit sin, it is risky. But at night before you sleep, you're doing evil before you sleep. What if you don't wake up? Most of the times you can wake up, but things continue to go wrong in your life. You are telling somebody they will never make it. Look at your life. Are you making it? You are cursing people. You will always be poor. Money will never come to you. Look at your life. Normally, people who swear, who lay curses, never prosper. It is in Proverbs. Anything you say against yourself, evil, you say against your, your brethren, your neighbors, we are all brothers and sisters in this life. It bounces back to you, especially if the person is not responding. Hey, if you tell a person you will never make it, the person does not respond. Or the person tells you, I reject in Jesus' name. Or back to sender. Go and beg them. Even if they respond does not mean it does not have effect. But it is even worse. Because when you start cursing, you sleep unholy. You are sleeping unholy. That is the key. You do evil before you sleep. When you sleep unholy, your life will be a mess because the enemies, they will use you for celebration at night because you are empty without protection. And this is the time they sow in seed of sickness, seed of failure, seed of rejection, and all other things that is keeping most people at one spot. Finally, do not put on a black dress before you sleep. I'm not saying it matters. This is not a sin against God. But night is already dark. Why put it on something that attracts negative energy? Darkness is for the devil. Even in the Bible, did you ever see Jesus Christ putting on a black garment? That has always been a symbol of evil. I'm not saying that putting on black is a sin. It is not a sin. You can put on black to pray to God. It is okay. God will answer you. It is just a color. But do not put on black and go to bed. Please, it is wrong. It attracts negative energy. And if in your house, your bed spread is black, make sure your bedroom does not contain black, black objects. Maybe you can have black objects in your city room but not in the room you sleep or in the room your children sleep. If there is anything black, it should be mixed up. Not that your bed spread black, your curtain has a mixture of black. This one black. No, black is evil. Black is an evil color. That does not mean that God is against it, but black is a property of the devil. Dark energy. God is light. This is not assumption. It causes nightmares. Even if nothing bad happens to you, if you wear black to bed, nothing bad might happen to you, but it causes nightmare, evil dreams, because you are pulling evil energy to yourself. So please avoid these four things. Do not before you sleep. If you're going to put on black dress, not before you sleep or wearing this to bed, it is very, very wrong. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell notification is turned on. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. God bless you.